What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today, I am hoping, crossing my fingers, that we can, uh, we can get Stitch in here. We have a Stitch quest. I've been doing these quests slowly but surely, and the quests are about finding these random socks around everywhere, you know? They're just in random locations, and I want to get Stitch in here. So right now, it says you found another sock. I got some people to talk to. It's called Built to Destroy. I have to go talk to Mickey, Kristoff, and Merlin regarding this. Let's go say hello to... Hi. Howdy, do you need some help? Uh, Donald, the village is under invasion by a sock-stealing <laughs> alien. Yep, I've heard him talking about it. Uh, find the aliens and stop them. Gosh, so you really think we've got aliens stealing socks around here? I know it. I'm on the trail for another clue. I found a new cap. Is it yours? Yeah, uh, okay. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Oh. If I try real hard, I can always remember what she looked like, oh. but not quite. All right, someone special. Thanks, Mickey. Thanks, All right. pal. I'm assuming he was just talking about um Lilo, maybe. I'm assuming it's we'll see. Kristoff is over here. Let's go talk to Kristoff. Kristoff! Hello, buddy. So, uh, I kinda need your help. Wait, a sock? Yep. I found it just lying there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no, that's not my sock. Really carrot orange, is it? Looks more like a pumpkin to me. You see how I did make that mistake? Wait a second, that's not my sock. But now that I look closer, I think I've seen it before. Near Merlin's lab library. Who's hanging out in... Okay. Cool. Bye. Wait, 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 while I'm here, Hello. can I just have a daily conversation? Hey, thanks. I have to do these daily conversations. I'm not doing them often enough, and now, like... Okay, listen. Don't take on too much. We're here for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How's your abuela? Aunt, right? Abuela? Grandmother, grandmother, grandmother. Trust me, I, I, I've taken so much Spanish, but I don't know mo most of it. But I've taken it. I shouldn't know more of it than I do. All right, let's go find Merlin. He's probably down by his, down by his house, and he is. Let's go head over and talk to our boy. Who is that? Let's go talk to Merlin. Merlin, Merlin, it's your boy. It's me. Hello, Merlin, buddy boy. Here's the knitted orange sock. Take, take a look, ski. Oh, hello. Well, that. What do we have here? Good goodness gracious, my sock. I've been looking all over for it. A deer. Okay. Long. Hold them close. I can almost remember her face. Wait a moment. It looks like the sock has a bite slobber. Sorry about that. No, no, no. There's no need to apologize unless it's your, you who salvated on them, of course. There's someone going around stealing everybody's stuff and dropping it everywhere. Enough magical muddles around. Okay. Don's quacking up the wrong tree. Or have you noticed anything else going missing? Now that you mentioned someone's been... Books. Hmm, maybe I can find it. Alright, let's I go in. My hat to you. It, I, I prefer... We're looking for the good old buddy boy. Get out of here. Bah. You found Merlin. Found a clue in Merlin's library. Pick it up. Bring the mysterious claw to Donald. Whose claw do you think it could be? <laughs> I kind of hate. I, don't, I shouldn't say hate. I don't hate it. You know what? I do. I don't like that they actually show you like ev all the characters. I kind of feel like it should be just not here if you don't own them. I know anyone can Google it. Yeah, I get that. But still, I feel like there's a certain thing about unlocking some of these. And I'm a little disappointed they're all kind of, you just know who they are, you know? Like, that's a little crappy. I wish it was a little bit more mysterious. Donald! Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Hey, Donald. Check out this mysterious claw. Give me your thoughts. Give me your play-by-play, -play, bud boy. Oh boy, look at that. That's proof. The claw come from an alien. Do you still have that strange voice? You bet. It's beeping. Cool. Uh, 
what you're doing. It's lighting up on the screen. It says DNA match. Authorize 100% complete. Please place beacon to initiating protocol. Keep clear of your own... What does that mean? Some good side of homing beacon. We need to put it down somewhere. Then the alien spaceship will land. Let's put it down on the skull off Dazzle Beach just to be safe. On Skull Island off of Dazzle Beach. Oh, that's kind of a cool spot for this. It's actually a really cool spot for this. I'm kind of excited. That's your king. Me. Handsome, right? Everyone admire the handsome gentleman. That is me. Sorry, this is this this has a uh, pretty crystal. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah! We're here now. Don't mind me as I literally don't do this objective whatsoever. And I just run around like a nameless man and just do everything that is not part of my objective. Because I am distracted. Alright, cool. Alright, let's place this thing. Stitch is my favorite behind Wally. Aloha. Oh, Aloha. <laughs> Stitch. Oh. Stitch. Did you make Stitch's ship crash? Wait, Stitch is saying something? Wait, Stitch talks? Does Stitch talk? Am I crazy? Brave bro, no PG. My ship is broken, your fault. I think your ship was malfunctioning even before it crashed. It looked like you were having some trouble sharing it. Oh my god, he's growling at me. Oh, he said thank you. Uh, that, that does remind me. Does he actually talk? I kind of remember him talking. I saw that big blue hop out of the... <laughs> I saw that big blue alien hop out of the ship, I remember... Uh, him from the forgetting before. His name is Stitch. He loves to cause trouble. But I think the forgetting made him even more trouble. Donald, you were right all along. That was a space alien stealing socks. I knew it. Nobody believed me. Now you can brag to everybody. Nah, I can't wait to show Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> I've, I'd hold off on bragging to Mr. McDuck until we know for sure that Stitch isn't going to destroy all the stuff, all the valuables. We got to catch him. I guess that was his ship. He seemed pretty mad about it. Ask about making him a home. All right, let's go ask Uncle Scrooge about making him a home. Oh, wait. Hold up. I, I thought I had to go talk to... I, I read talk to Uncle Scrooge. But he just wants his home placed. Where do we want to put Stitch? Right here is actually a really nice spot. Cool. That's a beautiful spot for Stitch. I love these little blocks. It's like my favorite thing. I know the rest of the map can be used, but I kind of like that. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, let's see how much it is to unlock it. Hopefully I have the money. Wow, that's expensive. $10,000. That's wait, why is that why is that his house? Am I missing something? Wait, why does Mr. McDuck want to talk to me? Wait, why did Mr. McDuck want to talk to me? What's his house look like? Oh <gasps> it's so dang cute! Oh my god, this is where he got stuck last time. 
You guys remember you got stuck in the dryer? No, wait, no, he didn't. I speak lies. I think uh, Lilo got in the dryer, right? To hide from her mom? Stitch. Stitch! Oh no, I love him. My name is Stitch. <laughs> I wanted to apologize. We didn't mean to wreck your ship. To make up for it, uh, we built a special place in the village just for you. Uh. Special place? Like home? Exactly. Oh, Stitch wants to be home. You probably don't remember this place because of the forgetting. Sky get dark and bad night thorns grow. Stitch go in ship to get help for everyone, but I need fuel. So I come back first thing to put in the ship so ship go faster. What sorts of things did you need? Lots of stuff. Socks and books. Night thorns. You tried to use night thorns as fuel? Did it work? No, not good. And then night thorns make my head not good. I got la la lost. Well, you're you're not lost anymore, Stitch. Are you my friend? We're all friends here. Welcome to Dreamlight Valley. Just promise you'll give back all those socks and stuff you took. Yes, yes, promise. I am personally requesting that I introduce Stitch. I'm personally requesting that I introduce Stitch and Wally so the two can be friends forever and never be upset ever again. I love Stitch. I think I Stitch is definitely second to Wally. Wally has a special place in my heart. But Stitch is up there. It was one of those, and I, I talk about this every episode, so I don't, I'm sorry for sounding like a broken record. But I really liked Walt. I really liked Stitch because his TV show, um, if you guys ever saw his TV show, was a pretty sick. It was a pretty cool TV show where they like caught experiments every episode. Like that was the entire premise of the TV show. And even better was uh, there was violence and fighting. And I thought all the experiments were such fun, cool ideas. They had like fire guy and earth guy and like maybe one with a bunch of arms or something. And I thought it was so freaking cool. Oh. And I recently just saw a clip and it was like the saddest clip. It was like Lilo, it was Stitch leaving out the window of uh, Lilo's house after he kind of ruined stuff. And Lilo was looking at a picture, I think of maybe his, her mother and father, maybe? Because I think her sister was ri raising her. Maybe her mother and father died? Lilo's? Do they just let love killing off parents in Disney movies? Is that like the, the game plan? Like, I don't know what to do. Let's just kill off the parent. They did in Finding Nemo and Bambi. Uh, up his wife died man like right off the bat just killing off parents I think um, in Lilo and Stitch I think Lilo's parents didn't were dead what other movies had a parent that passed away oh, a bunch of them uh, getting back to the topic uh, it was Lilo she was looking at a picture of her parents and put the parent picture on the pillow and stitch was leaving because he felt really bad for breaking stuff and lilo said something along the lines of um you can leave and but i'll remember you i remember everyone who leaves and i was like what is this this is a disney movie i feel horrible i remember everyone who leaves and she's looking at a picture of her parents who passed away I was like, what? And then Stitch just leaves. He hears that and just books it out the door. Out the window, actually. And I was like, what is going on? How is this? <laughs> How can I watch this and still enjoy this movie? I am miserable. And it's kind of funny because I remember as a kid, I really thought the movie was really nice. And it is nice. Obviously, there's a happy ending. But man, that probably went in one ear and out the other when I was a kid. Now that I'm older, I felt like that movie's pretty deep. And I think in general, that's probably the case with a lot of Disney movies. Especially as I get older, I rewatch these movies. And 
I feel like they're a lot deeper than when I initially watched them, but I'm sure it's just because I was a kid. I think that's what makes Disney movies so good, though, is that as a kid, you can watch them and enjoy them. But I think there's also a lot of material in those for adults that can also watch and enjoy them and not feel like, oh, this is a children's movie. Totally a different thing, but it was kind of like uh, I recently watched some um, Spongebob. And I laugh even harder now watching Spongebob, SpongeBob than I did as a kid. Like, the innuendos and the small little tidbits that they squeeze in there is, like, hilarious. And it's still fun to watch. And I remember my parents used to let me watch it, and they used to watch it with me. And they wouldn't let me watch a lot of TV shows. And it wasn't that they were being protective, it was that they didn't want to watch it. <laughs> they were like, why the heck would I want to watch this? Like, this show stings. And that was a lot of shows, like a lot of shows my parents wouldn't let me watch for that reason. And then, um, Spongebob was one they'd let me watch. They also really liked, and we'd watch together, Hey Arnold. That, that one we'd watch together. Uh, when I, it was past my time, but my younger brother used to watch like Adventure Time and we'd watch that together. Um, what else did we used to watch as a family? They never like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, though I'm sure I would still enjoy it today. I thought, uh, was his name Milk? Or he would just say Milk? What do you want? Chocolate Milk? Was his name Milk? I always thought he was hilarious. And I still sometimes watch a compilation here and there. I still laugh my, my butt off at that. But my parents didn't like it, so we weren't allowed to watch it. What other Disney shows I used to like? I used to love Even Stevens. That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, Lizzie McGuire, that was on the list. I can't think of any other ones, but I'm sure there's so many other ones that we used to watch as a, uh, as a family. What did he, I, it, it might age you a little bit. I know some of you are probably older than me and some of you are probably younger than me. What did you watch with your family for, uh, for TV shows? Was there a go-to TV show that you'd watch as a fam? In, like, the cartoon area. Like, Nickelodeon, Disney, Cartoon Network, Space. Let's let's go with that. What other shows I used to watch outside of those channels? We watched so much Law and Order. <laughs> Law and Order. <laughs> There's my Boston accent. I just don't pronounce anything correct. We used to watch a lot of Law and Order. Law and or Order. Law and Order. We used to watch a lot of that as a family. <laughs> That's view was was the best. Um, I can remember watching a lot of King of Queens, but that's because my parents liked it. Uh, we used to watch Seinfeld, and that was a fun one back in the back in the heyday. Was was some Seinfeld. Still funny to this day. It's so funny how that show, all the jokes they make and the scenarios they go through in Seinfeld are still funny to this day, which is unbelievable. To think about they've been able to make a show where they even reference these crazy old things and it's still hilarious. But. Alright. I think we'll probably call it there. We ended up welcoming Stitch to the Island, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty exciting that we were able to wel welcome Stitch to the Island. I think that's one of our last characters. Last one we need is... Um, is Prince Eric, which I think we can probably just do by befriending um, Ariel and probably Ursula both. Probably Ariel, maybe more. I don't know. I'm uh, sure it's shirts. Whoa. What was that? You can turn her into a human? What? What? See, this is the stuff they can't show you. That totally ruins it. I didn't even know that was an option. I think that's so cool. But she's going to end up being a human? Come on. Really? Really? I just spoiled it for myself. Thank you everyone so much for watching, liking, and commenting, and subscribing. I'll upload. I'll have more content up ASAP. But as always, we'll catch you guys in that next episode. Peace.